Chelsea, we, uh, we're standing here in a, in a food plot and we've got our soil samples back. Uh, you know, what, what are the things that we're supposed to look at on a soil sample and what's the most important thing for us to look at? Definitely the most important thing to focus on when you get your soil sample back is your pH. If you have a low pH, if it's around that five and a half area, it's way too low. You're going to have to add some lime. If your pH is too low, you are not going to get the full potential out of your food plot. So if, if we're looking to add some uh, lime to our food plot, what's the best time of the year to, to be uh, putting lime on a food plot? Yeah, if you're focusing on producing a fall food plot, definitely apply your lime in the spring. It's going to take around three to six months to really get that pH raised to the level you need it at, to its optimum level. So definitely apply in the spring. If you're looking at a spring food plot, just reverse that. So you're saying optimal level. What's the optimal level that we like to see in our food plots? For our pH level, we'd like to see that at a six to a seven pH. Definitely pH is very important and, and folks, we just need to make sure we get a 6.5 pH to get the optimal benefits out of our food plots during a growing season. Yep, I can't stress enough, lime, lime, lime. <laughs>